big rock, Candy Mountain, day five. Somehow I've survived thus far. And today is the last day, the final test, the grand finale, the dessert, the cherry on top. We're here at the Greenstone. It's like an OHV area. I don't know if they call it that, but that's what we would call it in the States. It's just trails and trails and trails. It reminds me a ton of home. Reminds me of like uh, Huckleberry Flats, one of my favorite places out by Oak Ridge. A little bit like Shotgun Creek, but hopefully good, unlike Shotgun Creek. The trails are marked. This is maintained by a club. They don't look rutted out or destroyed at all. We got some good chocolate cake dirt today, and I'm calling it right now. It's going to be a good day. It's going to be a good day, Tater. Wearing my lucky Grizzbait jersey. That's right. This baby was the only reason I got through the second day of the Shane Watts training. I'm sure of it. So, slapped it on. Let's get out and ride and try not to die. That's always the goal. So this place is called Greenstone, which means you're gonna get a plethora of Guns N' Roses Mr. Brownstone references today, at least for the early offing until I hyperfixate on a different song, so. I've been dancing with Mr. Brownstone. What an honor it is to be roosted by the great and powerful Barry Morris. Oh, sh Ooh, okay. <laughs> ah, typewriter, typewriter myself. Hey, it's slippery out here, bro. I can't even get on. <laughs> that was some bullshit. Tim. Okay, the groups are split. I'm in the F group, the easy group. We picked up two new riders. Mike's right in front of me. Carl's ahead of him. They don't feel like the... Apparently it's pretty technical and there's a lot of wet roots and shit on the other route, so they're just like, I've had enough. They're gonna take it easy with us today. And they didn't say this was the easy route, they said it was the easier route. So, yeah, look at that. Giant ass log to go over right away. Yeah, well, off to a good start. By good start, I mean suck. Sucktastic. Man, these trails, though. Oh, uh, yeah, this is a lot more like home. A lot more roots and shit. A lot more garbage and shenanigans. Mm, slippery ass rocks. Cool. Loving it. This is the easy way. <sighs> We're supposed to be going up a mountain, not down it. <sighs> yeah, okay, I'm gonna be tired. This is definitely the culmination. <laughs> culmination. I'm not even in gear, bro. Oh, this way? Straight? <sighs> Welcome to Barry Mart. Uh, we've got pretty much anything you could need. A tiny bra, a very small tire, some boots. Somebody just gave up and walked out, it looks like. Goggles, some handlebars. I don't think it's your size, but it is your shade. Gloves, pants, a lot of beer cans, which you know what? I'd rather see them in a shopping cart than out in the, on the ground. So, yeah. Shopping cart corner, you're supposed to stop here. Never change, Canada. I don't know what scares me more, the fact that we have to go up this hill or the fact that the GPS might be wrong and we might go up this hill for no reason. Probably the second one. <sighs> My life. <sighs> it just keeps going. Your GPS updated and we didn't have to come up this. Oh man. Yeah. 
I'm just waiting for him to be like, oh, just kidding. I had you in mind when I double checked. That's why I wanted to run up the road. I love you. <laughs> There's nothing worse than being terrible in front of one of your heroes, except being terrible in front of one of your heroes while he's filming you. <laughs> The weather is taking a turn. I've been checking the forecast religiously all week. 65 and sunny today. Or 65 and cloudy today. I'm not enjoying riding dirt bikes right now. Let's just put it that way. It's not anybody's fault. Uh, my goggles are super foggy. I can't see shit. It just came up. I don't know what it was, but I came up across the edge of this pothole or something and I had to just goose it jump it over because I wasn't gonna make it otherwise but I did not see it until it was right in front of me so I'm trying to balance riding a reasonable speed with being able to see but I just can't see I don't know if the sounds even gonna work I didn't put the waterproofing on my mic so I'm just woefully unprepared today and I guess that's my fault I should know better I ride in a similar climate all the time but That was fun. That was fun. It'd be more fun if it was dry, but that was fun. Oh, holy shit, this view is a lot better. Okay, well, the rain has slowed down. Oh, what was that? I heard a squirrel. Okay, fine, worth it, but geez, I'm cold. Come on! Fuck! Oh, you should make it! I should be able to plug it. Oh, that'll be great after Mick writes it. Oh, at least it won't need a valve job. Okay, pretty great to be able to stop and, and get warmed up at the uh, fire lookout up here. The clouds are rolling back in. The rain has stopped for the moment. I'm not going to say it's done because that would be stupid, but... They momentarily teased us with the option of, a, of an easier way down and then just said, ha just kidding, we're all going the same way, so... <sighs> no, no, no. You gotta leave me alone. Green my f That is not a gear, bro. That is not a gear, bro. Yeah, I already hate this. It's very, very greasy. Look at this Snowy. Like, what are we doing? Oh, <laughs> they tore this up on the way up. This is gonna make it going down. And they're all ahead of us going down, so it's even more funsies. I might try to put my goggles back on, I suppose. We're gonna be in the brush. Let's go down. Uh, what the hell is this? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Just had to get her straightened. Yeah, super fun. Love it. Love every second of it. Oh, I'm tired. And I've discovered that uh, I don't think I like single track. Or at least I have a mental block with it. Because stuff I could do on two track, I just, I hit it on single track and I just lose my mind. And I don't know why. I think it's the lack of options. You get tunnel vision. Oh, 
Damn, I'm off everything. Okay, what were you saying about not interesting? Did we drop into a rock face? Oh man, <laughs> another drop I didn't see. Woo! This is, the bike just disappeared from underneath me. That was fun. Okay. Well, there's a little bit of shenanigans. Dude, something keeps hitting me in the head. I just realized there's mud coming off my back tire. That's why on my back is just really muddy. Like... Yeah, this one sucks. This one sucks. Good job, bud! <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. <sighs> yeah, well that's appropriate. Summation of my experience. <sighs> All right, this is the last trail section. We are almost back to the van, which means we've almost arrived. Grizzly. Nope, which means I've almost arrived. Big Rock Candy Mountain, now I remember this trail. Good evening, everyone. George and Maria here. Um, as far as I know, this is a, a, a disco. It's called a disco because originally it started in Mexico, people just grabbing a plow disc and then just welding up the holes where it was screwed onto the machine and then put a couple of stones and a little bit of fire underneath it and that created a, uh, an, an, um, a venue where they could just cook a good meal. If a lot of people, they worked on a farm or they're doing stuff together, ranching or stuff like that. Uh, it was, uh, they, they call it uh, disco or discada. And it's uh, usually it's gonna be uh, beef and uh, probably mixed with some pork and chicharron, some, something like that. Um, we have one Mexican with us here tonight, <laughs> so he's going to have to tell us later how close we came to Mexican food. <laughs> that's a, that's a, it is hard to put into words what this experience has meant and what it's taught me. Um, I am incredibly proud of getting through all five days riding, considering the physical shape I'm in and my current riding ability. Everyone here is so awesome, gracious, helpful. Like, nobody cares that you're a little slower. Everyone's pitching in to help. A couple guys rode my bike up twice. I had, there was two hill climbs. I first one I could not get up, and the second one I was just so gassed I didn't want to keep trying. Um, those were both on day two. So guys are helping with that stuff. But, uh, you know, even though we had two very distinct groups, a faster group and a slower group, it just felt like one big happy family, one big group, and I really appreciate that. So thanks to everyone that was here. Thanks to Dallas for the opportunity to be here, to come back and hang out with the Traction E-Rag crew again. I love it up here. So cool to be in BC, to be invited to see this part of the world. Uh, thanks to the whole E-Rag crew, Tim in particular, who saved our bacon, pulled us out of the fire, gave us the encouragement and coaching we needed to succeed in a lot of situations, particularly on Tuesday. We spent a lot of time with Tim on Tuesday trying to get through Six Mile. That was, uh, that was something. I would say if you're interested in coming to one of these events, either this one or Grizzbait, not the XTADV training, that's a different thing. But if you're interested in coming to one of these dirt bike trail riding experiences with Traction E-Reg, I think you're going to want to be as good a rider as me or better. So if you've watched me for a while, if you've seen my other videos, you have some idea what my riding skill is. I would call myself an intermediate rider, particularly on dual sports and adventure bikes. Dirt bikes, I don't know if I'm even that good. Jake is here with a year and a half of dirt riding experience and he did great. But I would say he and I are the floor of ability you need to be able to enjoy this experience. Anyway, I'm trying to outro here and I'm rambling. Uh, great time, fun week, got my ass handed to me repeatedly as I expected. Wish I'd come in in a little bit better shape and I'm really hoping one of these days I'll learn that lesson, but it hasn't stuck yet. This is great training and uh, a way to start the season because everything I have to do from here on out is gonna be a thousand times easier than this, right? Even the whole NorCal BDR will be a cakewalk compared to the week I just did, so. 
It's a very great experience. Highly recommended if you're into it. I'll, of course, link the website with all the events and everything in the description. And make sure you check out the other videos in this series because there should be five, I think. They're all on the channel, but it's raining. I'm trying to pack up my crap. So for now and as always, I just want to say thank you very much for watching. And please do not forget to be excellent to each other. Oh, thank you.